Hello and welcome to official Xbox 360 Magazine's OXM Report. And this week we had a chance to have an exclusive chat with Peter Molyneux at Linehead Studios. He told us about Fable 3, which is already looking essential. So I'm here with uh, Peter Molyneux, legendary uh, game developer. You've repeatedly said that the Fable series is, is no longer an RPG. What do you mean by that? And does it wind up the RPG fans at all? Uh, well, let me put that in context first off. I said in a, when I was standing at minus 15 degree temperatures waiting for a, for a taxi with a journalist, I said, well, I'm working on Fable 3, I'm making some decisions that some people won't like, and uh, you know, it's tough being a designer. And that kind of led this down this route of, oh, is Fable an RPG? There are elements of RPG in Fable for sure. You're going to level up for sure. You're going to collect things for sure. Is it all about based around you leveling up around the number six going to the number seven and number seven going to number eight? No, it's more spectacular that it's more it's more built into the gameplay than that. One of the things that really, really, really aggravates me about RPGs is I'm forced to read huge volumes of text you know, it just is, you know, and I just hate doing that. One is I'm not very good at reading, and another is that, you know, if you if this was a TV program, you know, asking you to read like a, like a page of text to understand the story is just rubbish. So um, we're, we're trying to make the story and the drama more like an action adventure. So you've got this amazing, incredible cast of characters and we've only announced one of those characters in John Cleese, but you know, there's some other characters which we're going to announce soon, where I think this is the, you know, a collection of talent that comes together that stands up against anything you've ever seen before on TV or, or film or, or, or computer game. One of the elements that people were perhaps a little underwhelmed at, mm. by in Fable 2 was the co-op, and now yeah. it's one of the most exciting things that we've heard about Fable 3 mm -hmm. is this new co-op mm. uh, mechanic where you can invite your friends mm. in with their own Anytime, hero. Yeah. Tell me about how, how difficult that was to implement and what it means for the experience. Yeah, I mean, there was, an, there, there was a couple of things that were easy to design. One is, is, is it was easy to design around the problems that the Fable 2 co-op had, where, where you and I were just tied together, where I, if I wanted to go left and you wanted to go right, then that was, you couldn't do that. And um, so we just said, OK, if I'm playing on my machine, I should have my own camera. If you're playing on your machine, you should have your own camera. Which leaves us free to make, you know, our own choices. You, you know, we can hang out together and walk along and do every battle together, or I could just say, you know, I'm bored of doing that. I want to go off down this path. That sounds an awful lot better. And then coupling that with the idea of um, there's this, the, the ambient orbs are back, and you know, you can invite people at any point in any stage of the game to help you out for as, any, as long as you like. You could invite someone for the entirety of the game or just for five minutes. You coming into my world and seeing how different it is, how different the people react to me is, is really, really good. And uh, you and I, not saying that we would, but you and I coming in and being able to, to formalize our, our co-op relationship. We can either have form a business partnership, once we've got a business partnership, um, we can buy a house and move in together, and we can even get married together. And uh, you know, those are all those are all pretty good, cool co-op uh, co mechanics. So it, it does turn out to be a really big, a really big feature, I think. Yeah. Obviously, the other really exciting thing that's been announced is Natal's support for the game. Mm -hmm. um, how is that going to manifest itself? Because obviously, Fable Three is quite a complex world. Is, is it difficult to integrate Natal's support into into a world like that? It, 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 I mean, you know, everything's challenging. Natal is is. It's, for me, Natal is challenging because it's so different. You know, it's, it's very, very different to any other input mechanism that the world's ever seen before because there isn't any buttons. And, you know, that's both its strength and its big challenge. And so when you've got um, a game like Fable, there's an enormous number of things that we can do with, with Natal. But what I didn't want, I wanted, again, for you to feel like you were part of the world. I didn't want you to go off and play some mini game out totally outside of the world of a fable i wanted you know to feel like you were you know natal was integrated into the world if you like um and you know it's very much you know it's very much a kind of um it, it enhances the world if you like 
So it's going to be more than just waving at your co-op friend and things like that. It, it, it it's going to be integrated in, so you know it has a you know kind of has a purpose and it kind of gives you something and there's a reason to do it and and you you won't have to put out a fable and load up something else to, to play it. It's you know it's yeah. It's, it's not the top It's impossible <laughs> to talk about these features without being very specific. And of course, and then what people don't want you to do is what I really want to tell you now. It's this. Yes. Yeah. For all the exclusive details on Fable 3, pick up the latest copy of OXM on shop shelves now. And keep an eye out on OXM.co.uk for a very special podcast with Peter Molyneux, available later this week.